Hey guys, just Bill, Townsend Outdoors. So we're sitting in this darn thing. It's all loaded up. And we're ready to lay down, right? Enjoy the thing a little bit. Go ahead, use those pockets. Throw your stuff in there. Slide over if you're a tall guy. And just lean over. Pick those feet up. Now, the simplest thing to do is just sleep on your back. If you want your head back, go ahead and lean back. You're in pretty good shape. Now, when you're in the bridge, don't use the poles. It's not a chin-up bar. It's not a footrest. It's not somewhere for you to kick off. If you need to move around in the bridge, you grab the black strap. If you need to pull up and you're having a hard time, grab the black here. That'll slide you this way. Grab the back here. If you're stuck, sit up, grab, slide. We talked about the end sliding. Don't worry about them moving around on you. Okay, but if you're sitting here and you don't want the pole right over your face, you can slide all the way down. And I'm almost in the middle of the bridge here. I'm a foot away from the pole. I'm five foot ten. That gives you an idea how much room you have in this bridge if you need to move around. But if I slide back up a little bit, this is a pretty good spot you could call center of the bridge. Okay. My arms aren't pinched, I'm not in a coffin, I'm not smashed, I've got room to lay around, all right? If I reach up above my head, go ahead and grab that cord, and I tension it up, that's going to create a pillow here underneath the bar. If I slide up a little bit, you can see that pop in a little bit, that's a pillow, it's a natural pillow. If I open this thing all the way up and push, that's going to soften up a little bit, okay? Now, the reason you might want to open that thing up is, let's say I want to side sleep, all right? Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab here, I'm going to pick up my foot, and I'm going to push, slide my butt over, slide myself over, keep rolling, put my arm up in that loose spot, okay? Now I'm sleeping on my side. If I want to slide up further in the bridge, I can do that. If I want to slide all the way to my belly, you're probably going to want your shoulders to be roughly under the bar. That's about the most comfortable because there's a pillow, a ridge that's right under the bar. And when you're side sleeping, that'll create, or I'm sorry, when your belly's sleeping, that'll create a little divot for you. Don't be afraid to use your feet on the edge. To slide in here and really get in under the bar. Now I am truly belly sleeping in this bridge. That is something you can't do in any other hammock or any other bridge hammock or any other um, alternate type of hammock like the Amok um, or some other brands. But I'm all the way in this edge. This doesn't need to be fully open. I can close this up a little bit so my stuff doesn't spill out and it's still just as comfortable. So there I am on a full belly. If I want to do a Superman, I've got enough room to do a Superman. Ballerino. I can grab this edge, roll over, curl up go on my side. I can even grab this edge, turn around, flip the bridge, and now I'm sleeping backwards. This is more comfortable for some people who are really big with their legs flying around. If you like sleeping in a little ball, you can curl up in a ball this way. And now you've got the wider part of the bridge where you're sleeping wide, okay? If you really want, now you really big guys, please don't do this, but I'm about 230 these days, okay? And I'm in a single layer bridge right now. I've got all my weight under the big pole in the end. And if I wanted, I can sleep in a ball all the way on the end of the bridge, just like this. Like I said, the Amsteel suspension takes all your weight, transfers it 
to the M steel and the cloth is there to keep you comfy, okay? No matter where you are in the bridge, it's taking your weight and taking it out. So even something like this, where I've got my entire body weight down here under this one pole, see how the bridge is deflecting and carrying my weight out to the edges. And if I need my glasses back, you probably don't want to go through all this trouble doing this. But anywhere you want to sleep in this bridge, the only rule you need to remember is that you want to grab the edges, not the poles, put yourself wherever you want, try something new, try something all the way down, try your feet hanging off the bed there like Cletus. Sit in the middle, sit in the end, curl up, slide around, pop out. Don't be afraid to use the bridge. Just take your time, try a couple of different things out, see where you're comfy. Once you find your spot, go ahead and tie those slippery half hitches in the end so that you've got it. But if you're somebody like me who moves around a lot all night long, you probably don't want to knot them up. You probably just want to leave them sliding around for yourself. Thanks, guys. Hope you enjoy it.